Who's gonna make you a president? Your train is gone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Will anyone tell her? Salute, dear comrades. Old boy is here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to the topic suggested to me in the comment section under one of my previous videos. So the phenomena is called Passport Bros. I'm not new to this topic, however, this compilation I've never seen before. So if you don't mind, this is gonna be my raw and unscripted reaction. The video itself is called A US Modern Women Angry at Passport Bros Going Overseas for Foreign Women. Let's check it out. This is a huge red flag. The only men who red like flag. to go overseas to find a partner. Guys, she said red flag, a huge red flag. Well, in Russia, we have a saying, you've missed your train, your train is gone. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that if a man is going overseas to seek a relationship, it means that deep inside his heart, he already abandoned an idea to find the relationships locally. So it's not a red flag. You just missed your chance. Your train is gone. At least I think so. Is men who like to prey on vulnerable women. Because when you go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or Eastern Europe or wherever these places Eastern are that Europe. are overseas, I'm assuming you mean they're more biddable, that they're less outspoken, they don't demand anything of you, don't that they're demand. just happy to be rescued. Guys, she said Eastern Europe and don't demand in one statement. Well, I can't say for all the women, right? I can't speak for American women, for European women, but I... I think I have a right to talk for the Russian women. Well, at least for now, these days, the tendency is that Russian women have two major problems. First of all, they're very demanding and they're very disrespectful. They want you to buy them things. They want you to take them places. They want you to take care of their financial situation. But at the same time, in return, you don't get any respect. So they will pinch you in public. They will laugh at you in front of your family, your friends. That's why I cannot agree to what she just said. Maybe you can cross out Eastern European women. From their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity, and in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. So... I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find motivation. a partner. Is it because you prefer your woman biddable, without opinions, unable to fight back? and vulnerable? Without opinions, yeah, again. If she's talking about Russian women, if she means them, not just, uh, let's say, South Asians, right? Then you can't say they don't have an opinion. You can't say they are not demanding. You can cross them out completely. And again, look, in my opinion... The motivation is very simple. They're not looking for a cheaper woman, as you can imagine, right? Because they, they come from poor backgrounds. They don't know what is big money, right? No. Those societies, they tend to retain more traditional culture. They know how to clearly define the roles in the relationship, right? So they know that a man is supposed to be a man. A woman is supposed to be a woman. That's it. So that's the general motivation. It's uh, not about the money. Well, I think so. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Because if that's the case, you know what that makes you, right? What? A clever man? So there's something that I stumbled upon on my TikTok, and it's something called Passport Bros. And it's basically American men that are now going overseas to different countries, which we already know about, but they want the women that they're with to remain foreign. So they're not actually intending to bring the women back to the United States because they feel like the women in the United States are oh. kind of like tarnished good. You smart. And I want you to watch this video, okay? So there's this new movement called Passport Boys. It's when guys, American men, go over to whatever country, find someone, marry them, and bring them back. I'm beginning to jump on board with this whole thing because the dating 
in this Southern California area. So in the video, you can hear where he says to bring them back to the United Not States. But Southern actually, California. one of the passport bros, like one of their like guest speakers or something, corrects him and says this. We're not bringing them back here. Not us. We're going over to their country. We want our foreign women. Okay, I got your point. She was trying to say that most men, they go overseas not to get married, just to play around some kind of thing like that. And I do believe it it does exist because even I know some friends of mine, they can go to say, let's say Thailand, right? Find a girlfriend for a week or two and then just come back home and leave the girl over there. But at the same time, I know the cases when a man goes overseas, finds a relationship, dates a woman, uh, retains this distant kind of relationship after he comes back and then goes again uh, to pick up the girl and bring her over and get married. So I know both such situations when a man just goes to play around and a man just goes to uh, establish a long-lasting relationship. To stay f what is going on? Like, I'm genuinely concerned for America right now. Like, do I need to try to be the president or, like, I don't know, like, be a mayor <laughs> or something? What's going on? President. The reason He's him from shooting the shot brothers. is that black women are not his preference. Man, they're probably going to report this video, but I don't care. I'm going to give y'all the raw, uncut truth, okay? Black women are black men's first choice, okay? We're going to say that. But black women somewhere along the lines i think it's for any community let's say again i can't speak for black men and uh, the relationship in black communities but of course for me originally the first option would be uh, a russian woman right of course with time my preferences might have uh, shifted you know drifted a little bit but still i think it's quite natural you're just looking for the same of your kind, something like that. Feminism and, you know, equality and all that, I guess they forgot what side of the field they were on. They forgot who team they were on. They forgot who was their running mate, okay? They forgot who their partner was. And they basically started trading us in for material. And I don't know why y'all don't feel like, like black men aren't seeing what y'all doing, but y'all basically... Okay, I'm getting his point that though originally he would go for a black woman but due to this uh emancipation feminism and stuff like that they started pushing them away well that's exactly what i described to you though i am a russian and i would originally go for a relationship with a russian woman but just the tendencies like that I'm just switching my focus to, you know, some other nationalities and cultures. Are using black men and looking at us as if we're just here to be a filler up guy. We just here to pour into you men. where you feel like you lack or you just want us there so that you don't have to do it yourself and not getting anything in return also a lot of black women you don't love yourself you don't even wear your own hair no more you don't you you filter yourself so much you putting on all these piercings and all this makeup Again, and all this universal. weave and all this crap that nobody cares about you do that for you and then you come to black men and you ask us well why you women do it why you got a problem why you women do da, 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 da. we not we going to white women for white women shit when we go to black women we want black women i don't want to see dennis rodman Okay, so he's he's saying instead of black women, they go for white women. Maybe it's their cultural thing. I don't know. But in Russia, we have a lot of minorities, like small nationalities. And I know that many men, if they can't find the traditional kind of relationship, right, where everything is straightforward, they just go for those minorities. But for black men, I believe it's white women. I don't want to see Shaquille O'Neal in a dress. I don't want to see Charles Barkley with a wig. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I want to see That's LeBron James good, yeah. in a progressive commercial. I want to see a black woman. And I need y'all to answer me this question. When is the last time you've actually seen a black woman wear an afro? Because I haven't, I can't remember the last time I've seen a black woman in America wear an afro. It's as if you have to beg black women to be who they are. It's like you got to beg them to be who they are naturally. And you're letting feminism trick you into destroying yourself. And we see that. And as black men, we sitting back and we're watching and we're trying to stop you, but nothing seems to be working. When I go to a black can, woman, guys, I want to see a black woman. I want to see her it, it can I want to see her anyone. glowing it's skin. I want to see you. I don't want to see Russia all this filtered bullshit that you guys like to cover yourself up in. Yeah. You got your degrees, you got your Huge money and lips, stuff like that. And for hair. some reason, you take your degree and your money and you use it to beat us down. You use it to insult our intelligence. You use it to emasculate us. You use it to tell us why you don't need us. Now, you telling me why you don't need me and try to emasculate exactly. me in the process and tell me that you're better than me and use your intelligence to insult me. Why would I want to be around you? Not to mention what I do like about you. You covering all your features up. You're wearing all this stuff that's making you look like a completely different race of women. Not to mention a lot of black men are feeling like you're helping our competition destroy us. So tell me it's where are black men black as women. a collective, where do we win in that? Passport bros. We're going to another country to find submissive women. Black women are too masculine. <laughs> we don't want y'all. Black women. Again, not just black women. And yes, what's wrong about getting a sub submissive woman? I just don't get it. It's not about like getting a slave or something. If she obeys you, it's not because uh, you are mean to her. It's not because she's afraid of you. It's because she respects you and she defines the roles in the relationship. She knows that you are a man, you are a father, you are maybe a head of this family. She just respects you for what you do. And you respect her for what she does. And maybe in, in some cultures, a part of what a woman does in a relationship is being submissive, is uh, listening to the needs of other people. Maybe just like that. That sounds a little bit like but you know what? Do you. Passport bros. See? I have my passport. I'm leaving and I'm going to find women who actually appreciate me. Black women. Okay, that's fair. Passport goes. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Black women. Men that are terrible, that don't want to stop being terrible, are going to get their passport and, and leave. Crying? Stop the cap. <laughs> And that's going to create problems <laughs> like like Andrew Tate when he talks about how women in Romania are so much better. Like what what woman in this country someone, is like, maybe, yeah. oh, my God, I need to start acting like Romanian women. And this is no shade on Romanian women, but I promise you no woman ever is. like. No, it's just that some women have to stop acting as themselves. Like, oh, here's a horrible man that's threatening to leave. I better change. These passport dudes, which yeah, I just learned was do. a thing, are the funniest ever because they think they're so important that, like, that's a threat. That's a threat. I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go find women somewhere else. <sighs> What's going on in her cattle? It's not that you have to change. You stay whatever you want to be. But... Please understand that in this case, a man has a complete right to choose someone else over you. Just simple as that. Then go. Nobody's stopping you. Just go. Yeah, what does they that will. Say about you that you have to take the time to get a passport to like go somewhere else to meet people that like you. <sighs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, oh my god what now but really like what what problems does that create it creates problems for those women 
No. And honestly, I think everybody should go out and see the world. You so just don't this understand. Is like an all around win. What's it going to do for you And like, what do they think is going to happen? Future. That they're going to they're going to bring these women back to the states, and then the women here are going to be like, oh, they have these amazing men. What? And like, if only, if only I had been more traditional. If only yeah. I had been more subservient. If only I would have acted more like a housekeeper or No, say, just more like then, a woman. Then maybe I could have won that prize. <laughs> and she's doing this with all the facial expression, but then don't. All I can tell her is just don't. But you will get the result. You will reap what you saw. Right? Is that how you say it? I love it how guys out themselves. Like, I just, I love this app so much. Because you just see, like, oh, you are another horrible person. I will continue on my journey without horrible people. Thank you very much. Appreciate the love, man, and the prayers come from the last post I made. You know, I only got a couple. So it looks like we have a passport bro that has, uh, stumbled into more dust <laughs> i don't know like what was this man thinking to travel to new mexico which is not even out of the u.s by the way and thought that he was gonna mooch off of a foreigner and then somehow he's shocked that he got stranded in a totally different state hours away from home i don't you know what he doesn't seem that bright he doesn't seem that bright talking about I only have a few more hours in this hotel. Am I supposed to feel some type of way? Should have planned. Should have planned better. Should have saved your money. Shouldn't have been listening to the men online. The podcast. Okay, so a comment on my video sent me down a rabbit hole. I don't ever want to go down again. Passport bros are real. There's this group of like seven black men on TikTok with like passports and saying they'd go into seven other men. countries to find more submissive black. women. I no, 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 no. Will no. anyone tell her? Do they not know they're gonna be black everywhere they go? Stop it. Get some help. Like an African American everywhere they go. My God. Wait, where are these other countries? Are they going anywhere in Europe? Probably not. Oh, they're Manosphere bros, which means they are strategically picking countries that are stereotyped for having very relaxed, if any, rules around these two things. So they're going to other countries not to find submissive wives, but to find women and girls that they... Yeah, nah. Don't... This is real, bro. What? Some days you will understand. Well, guys, this is it for today. I hope you like this video. To tell you the truth, it arouses mixed feelings. If you have any more suggestions, uh, if there's any video you want me to react to, feel free to leave a suggestion in the comment section. Also, you may consider subscribing to the channel. There are more videos coming. Have a good day, night, morning, evening, whatever time of the day it is. Salute, comrades.